Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying cups, pints, quarts and gallons, which are units for measuring liquid volume in the US customary system. And here I have a measuring cup that we can use to measure in cups, okay? And it shows here, this is one half, so here's half a cup line. Over here is one cup, and then one and a half, and then two cups here at the top. It also has lines for quarter cups, okay? You can see some other fractions there too, one fourth and three fourths, and so on. And it has some other lines and markings too, lines for the ounces. But we are not going to concentrate on the ounces in this lesson. Here I have a coffee cup, right? Let's check and see if the volume of this coffee cup is actually one cup. Let me fill it in. There, what do you think? It is, it is exactly one cup. Now, this jar here is one pint, one pint jar, okay? And two cups is the same as one pint, okay? And then this jar here is a quart jar, one quart. And what we want to find out now is how many pints go into one quart? What do you think? You can make a guess, okay? I'm gonna check it out now. So let's fill this pint jar. I'm gonna use some of this. So now I have one pint, okay? One pint of liquid. Let's first check if it really is two cups, though, by pouring it in here for a little while. Okay, so it is two cups or one pint. And now we're going to pour it in here. And then another pint. So what did we get? One quart is exactly two pints. How many cups would this be then? You remember? This one pint was exactly two cups, right? So over here I have two pints, so it means it is four cups. And then gallons, you would need to take four of these. Four quarts makes one gallon, okay? We use gallons, of course, to measure large volumes if you have lots of liquid, like for example, the gas tank of a car would be measured in gallons. What are you doing, Matthew? Matthew! Apple juice? No, it's not apple juice, I told you. It's just liquid, it's just colored water, don't drink that. Okay, okay. So, let's put the lid on so Matthew can't get to it. One other thing I wanted to show you about this big water container, it also has some pints and quarts over here on this side. And my finger is at the one pint mark, it is PT, okay, PT for the pint. And then as we go up, over here we have one quart mark, okay, one quart up here. And then over here we have three pints. And lastly here, two quarts. So when we fill this, it is exactly two quarts, okay? Now, at home, I want you to find a few cups and containers and measure their volume using a measuring cup that has cups over here, okay? And you can also, if you have one, you can also find a pint jar and a quart jar and play with them a little bit too, okay? Have fun. We're all done with this lesson.